tell me, tell me what's going on, what, what we're doing here today. So today we've got the um, the end game in aid of Bernardo's taking part uh, taking place today in Vernon Building. So at the moment we are in the first room, which is lecture one. So right now we're just putting like loads of paper, and make it look like it's been abandoned by the students and stuff. So it looks very crazy in a bit all over the place at the minute, it was quite cool. This uh, is part of a module that they study which is called TL2056 which is events in action where they learn uh, to put an actual event into practice. So they've learned the theory and this is where they put it into practice. So they've uh, had to pitch an idea to the uh, client which is Bernardo's uh, and then they, they actually now put it into action today. The six of us in the main team um, and then, then we've got some sound engineers as well, so we've got all our sound produced for us by um, music production at UCLan as well. Um, on that as well, we've also got um, actors with, who have experience in scare acting and that kind of thing as well, who do performing arts at Blackpool, and performing arts here, um, around event management here, or just some students who just want to have a bit of fun. So yeah, we've, we've massive, massive team behind the whole thing as well. Today we are setting up all the scare rooms ready for the visitors. Um, we've got a lot of props coming in, a lot of um, AV equipment coming in and out. Um, this is our control room. We're going to be monitoring progress from here, constantly updating social media. Doing actual live events is completely invaluable. It's just perfect. You get to experience every aspect of an event because we have to do everything. So from the marketing, the conception of the idea, right through to the, to the pack up and then reflection afterwards, you see absolutely every area of an event. This is basically the last room so the security guards will grab them all from out there and bring them in and like tie them up and sit them down and shout with them and basically tell them that they're going to be eaten by zombies <laughs> because they're like covering their backs because they don't want to be eaten by the zombies so they're bringing them all in here to be eaten and um, we've obviously made like a lot of mess in this room as well <laughs> because it's the biggest room um, and we want it to be like a really good finale for everyone. What's going on today? Tell me what you do, what's your job? What, what I am officially up? in charge of the end bit but um, we're just doing some decorating at the moment. This is the first room and this is some biohazard tape that we got from Peter Hill. Sorry. So we're currently just getting our makeup done. So I am acting in the very first room. So I am being made to look like a slightly turned into a zombie crazy professor's assistant. So everybody's just got all their hair and makeup done. We're all sort of being transformed into these really scary zombies and yeah, getting ready to to go with the event. Well, you see, apparently they were coming up with the cure for the disease going round, and apparently it was in this room somewhere, so they're gonna try and find it, I suppose, but I think it'd be a bit fruitless. Yeah, I was pretty impressed with the UCLan students. They seem to have it really organised. Everyone knows where they're supposed to be, what they're doing, they've got all the safety measures in place. Like, there's nothing that's sort of coming out of the blue to scare anybody. Well, obviously, there's things scaring people, but not in an un unpredicted way. The benefit of this is that they get hands-on experience and they've worked with lots of different schools within the university which helps, so they've collaborated. Um, and also it gives them skills for employability. So, um, you know, they can go to an interview and talk about a time where they've actually put on an event of this scale because it is a very large scale event for a student event. So I came up with the idea of having like, um, a, like doomsdayers going across your clan in the month coming leading up to the actual event, saying that the end is coming, people being like, what, what do you mean, what's going on? There was a day um, a few weeks ago when we went down to Harrington and we completely traumatised people eating their breakfast at 11 o'clock in the morning. Started creating mass panic, shouting, screaming, that you know, the end's coming, you're all doomed, that kind of thing, with two actors. That went down. As you can imagine, mixed reviews, but it went down overall with our ticket sales really good. We actually got quite a lot of um, ticket sales up from just doing that one um, day across Foster Building in Harrington. It's here! It's true, they're coming! They're coming! It's gone really well, it was quite stressful, there's a lot of time, planning put into it but it's paid off. We've had a, we've had a lot of positive feedback as people are coming back so they've really enjoyed it and it's been amazing, it's been fun putting it all together and watching it come through. We've definitely done better than we thought we would, 
like we thought it would well we obviously thought it would go well but we didn't think it would go this well so yeah it's been really really good um, i've been in the first room acting so i've not seen what's going on in the rest of the building but in our room it's been amazing everybody's been getting really involved we've made loads of money we've had loads of people turn up and buying tickets all the groups have been getting really involved it's been absolutely amazing getting all the clues really fast but still taking the time and like getting out they're all terrified which is again brilliant which is exactly what we wanted so yeah it's going really 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 well and to have this on our cv to say that we've worked in such a high like a high intensity event and an event that's just it's so quick moving there's so many elements to think about the planning stage has been across over six months worth of, of time and to have this on my cv and for me to talk about this when i go for job interviews is going to be absolutely valuable i feel really proud now that we've managed to pull it off because it's been like such a long time planning and coming um yeah, so I think we've done a really good job and we're really happy. Yeah. Okay, Rod, so tell me, how's the event gone in your eyes? How have the students done? And, you know, what's your general overall feelings? They've done absolutely brilliant. There's been people coming out raving about it. One guy said it was as good as Blackpool Pleasure Beach and what more could we want? Um, so absolutely proud of them. Um, and I'm, I think that the crazy professor will retire now. But yeah, they've done superbly. Brilliant. And so just to, we'll just go back in time, just talk about kind of like them going forward now, obviously, uh, interview wise and things like that. This is going to be a great experience to talk about, isn't it? It is because they, they can then talk about what, you know, when they've done things, when they've solved problems, when they've dealt with people, when creative things as well. So it's just amazing for them. So proud.